Angel Oak Tree on Johns Island draws thousands of locals and visitors alike every year. And now one of South Carolina's treasures is getting an upgrade. News 2's Katie Vung Fossa tells us what's in store. The famous Angel Oak Tree is expecting to have a much larger home. The preserve initiative is planning to expand to a total of 44 acres surrounding its park. The Low Country Land Trust and the City of Charleston are working together to provide an improved space for the tree and its visitors. The Angel Oak sits on nine acres owned by the city, and the remaining 35 acres are on protected conservation land, preventing development in the surrounding area. We call those the wetlands that saved the Angel Oak because not only are they important ecologically for the tree, but that was how we were able to sue the developer who wanted to turn this whole area into apartments and uh, retail space. The plan will also create a new entrance since the current entrance is too close to the tree's roots. Other additions include two miles of ADA accessible trails, a synthetic angel oak branch that is climbable, boardwalks over the wetlands, and a commemorative plant trail to the former plantation. Something that's really important about this site is we call it's an ambassador site. It provides green space for the community, um, an outdoor living museum, outdoor classroom, a place to learn about the history of the Sea Islands and what makes this place so special. Those behind the project, hoping it protects the tree loved so much by locals in the low country and around the world. We as South Carolinians should be incredibly proud of our legacy of protecting this tree because people come to visit it from all over the world. Um, just this morning I talked to folks from the Czech Republic and England who are bringing angel oak acorns back to their countries and it just is so special. The project is planning to break ground next year and complete in 2026. Reporting in Johns Island, I'm Katie Von Bongsa, Count On 2. Next.